continuing in our conversation about the Ashkenazi Jews, we're going to talk about the Crusades, which impacted, as we'll see, impacted the Jewish community in Ashkenaz uh, to a very great degree. Um, okay, so what were the Crusades? Crusades were basically um, missions to go and reconquer the Holy Land, uh, what we call Eretz Israel, what at the time was by lots of people known as Palestine, uh, which was named that after the Romans put down the Bar Kokhba rebellion, they called it Palestine. So the Muslims had reconquered or had conquered Eretz Israel uh, from the Christians and the Christians now, a few hundred years later, decide, hey, you know what, it's time to take it back. So they send people on a mission to go and reconquer Eretz Israel. Why were they called crusaders? So the soldiers, <coughs> they put crosses on their clothing and perhaps on their shields, as we have, according to these pictures over here, uh, which gave them the name uh, cross uh, through a few linguistic evolutions, uh, became crusaders. Um, okay. So how did the first crusade start? The first crusade starting in the year 1095, there was a pope named Pope Urban II, and he decided that it was time to take back Eretz Israel. There are a number of factors that went into this. Uh, first of all, the uh, Christians who were living in the east uh, in Constantinople, they asked for his help. They asked him to send the European Christians to come and help them fight the Muslims. Uh, they were tired of the Muslims being in control of the Holy Land, and the Muslims supposedly were not allowing the Christians to participate, to worship at their holy sites the way that they would like to have. And there's also supposedly a rumor that the Muslims were desecrating the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which was uh, believed to be the place where Jesus was crucified and, and buried. So they were not so happy about that. So Pope Urban goes on and makes these speeches, trying to inspire people and telling them you should go on this mission to go and reconquer, or, to reconquer the Holy Land. Uh, but the Christians are like, hey, why should we go? I mean, that sounds kind of risky. It's dangerous. Uh, you know, what's in it for us? So what are they going to get out of it? Um, I don't know if they really responded that way, but that's probably what they were thinking. So in response to their thought of, well, why should we go? What's in it for us? Pope Urban offers a great deal. So he says, if you go on this mission, on this crusade, number one, you can get automatic forgiveness for your sins. So a pope has power to do that, apparently, right? Anything that you've ever done wrong in your life, washed away if you go on this mission. That's number one. Number two, if you die in battle, automatic ticket straight to heaven, straight to paradise. Great deal. Plus, he was thinking in his head, I could also unify all of Christianity this way, because there was a lot of infighting at the time. So he thought, hey, if we send everyone on this mission, we'll, uh, we'll have more greater unity. So it was a great deal for everyone. So Crusaders, a lot of these soldiers, they decided, hey, you know, why not? Uh, they were inspired by these speeches that were made by not only Urban himself, not only the Pope, but also by the priests and monks who went around and trying to inspire people to go on this crusade, on this mission. And additionally, a lot of these people had pretty boring lives. Uh, a lot of them were poor. A lot of the people who went were uncultured, uneducated peasants. Uh, they didn't have opportunities to do things that were really very exciting, uh, to do things that were uh, adventurous. So they figured, hey, you know, here's an opportunity. We can go. We can become heroes. We can come, become warriors. Maybe we'll get rich. Maybe we'll find treasures along the way. We don't really have uh, much keeping us here. So why not? Let's go on this mission to this faraway land, to the Holy Land. And it's important to realize also that for sure, a lot of the motivation was genuinely religiously motivated. A lot of Christians believe that, hey, this is our mission from God. God wants us to retake the Holy Land from these infidels, uh, people who don't believe in Jesus, and they shouldn't be the ones in control of the Holy Land. So they go. Um, here is a picture of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre from the outside and from the inside. Again, I said this is the place that is believed to be the site of Jesus' uh, crucifixion and burial. Uh, and here um, below is a map of the, so I guess, the straightest distance from Rome, which was the seat of uh, Pope Urban, and the, Jew, the Christians of the East in Constantinople, which is uh, today called Istanbul in Turkey. Um, and here is, over here all the way on the side, is a picture of the city of Constantinople, which was named for Constantine, the Roman emperor who converted to Christianity. Um, 
So here's a, we have the Christians coming on the crusade from all the way from over here in France and in Germany, which like we said, northern France and Germany we've been discussing is the land that was known as Ashkenaz, and they travel all the way from here to down all the way southeast to the Holy Land to Eretz Yisrael. So in the next video, we're going to discuss what does any of this have to do with the Jews, because so far we really haven't discussed what any of this has to do with the Jews, so that's where we will pick up in the next video. So far, we have, there was the first crusade, uh, why they're called crusaders, and what exactly was their purpose and mission on going on this crusade. Stay tuned for the next video.